Hello, this is Jared from Commit Quality. In today's video, we're going to go over how we can utilize Cypress logging correctly. So just to quickly go over, the example I have set up, which I'll put the code in the description of this video, is we go into commitquality.com, which is our practice test automation website, and we go into the practice contact form. We enter in some details, and then we basically navigate in away from the page. So before we actually get into anything, let's say npx Cypress open, and let's make sure that this code is working. So use Electron. Let's go to our example spec file. Which there we are, perfect. It was visiting the page, it was entering some details, didn't enter all of them in, and then we just navigated away from the page. With JavaScript, you might be used to using typical console.logs to log out information, but this won't really work with Cypress because the order of execution is not guaranteed, and that means that your console.log might not output the things you're expecting to output, or even at the exact same time, and we'll go through an example of this now. Let's go into the code, and let's say after entering date of birth, we'll say console.log, and I'll say subscribe and then what i'll also do is i'll add another one after the navigate and say subscribe again and hit save if i go into my test and run it we would have run when i saved but if i run it again we can see there's no output here and the reason for this is the console.log is javascript thing which means it's going to only output inside the actual browser's console. So you need to right click on here and click inspect element. If you move over to the console, you'll see subscribe, subscribe again. Now, what I do want to do, and you need to be a bit quick with your eyes on this one, is if I rerun the tests, notice when we actually added the console.log statements, which is after entering date of birth and then after navigating away, what you're going to see is these are not actually in, these are not output in at these given points. You might see this output before we even started typing the email. Same for this one. And that's because, like I said, Cypress works on the concept of promises and the order of execution, whether it be an asynchronous, is not guaranteed. Let's go back to the playground let's rerun and immediately you had subscribe and subscribe again output here you can slow down the video and go back to watch it again if you didn't believe it but what you saw is before we entered in the date of birth we had subscribe and even before we navigated away we saw subscribe again so let's rerun it and you can see again look they've already output before it's all finished so this can cause problems when you actually want to start outputting things in cypress maybe using your console logs as kind of as logging information say okay got past this part got past this part it's not going to work and also you're not seeing it inside here so even if it did work which it's not going to it can get messy because you can't unless you're looking exactly at the code in the console you can't exactly see what point each of these lines executed now then cypress already give us a brilliant command called the log command which allows us to get around this problem it'll allow you to log information you can see it inside the cypress log so it won't appear in the um inside the browser's console and because it's part of the Cypress architecture, it handles all the promises and everything under the under the hood, so it should output exactly where we expect it to. So let's do that. Let's change these console.logs to sci.logs. So all I gotta do is change the console part for that one and the console part for this. And we should see now that subscribe and subscribe again are actually being output after the date of birth line and then subscribe again is output after we navigate away and we won't see anything in the console of course as well so let's run this gee you can see nothing in the console so let's just close this down now what we can see is we've got the logs you've got subscribe which happened after the type and you've got subscribe again which happens after we navigate away 
So it's handling all of this under the hood for us. Now, that's the basics of login. However, I also want to show you how we can kind of log the values out of text boxes and things like this. And this is going to be utilizing a bunch of different Cypress commands. But this is probably more like what you're going to be doing on a day-to-day -day basis if you want to output um, the value of text or see why something is going wrong. We'll get rid of these side.logs for now. And let's say... Part of this test is to verify when I've entered the email address, we want to log out the value inside the text box matches what we've input, which is here. If you haven't already, I'd suggest going to watch my assertions video because that will help you on how you can assert against it as well. Let's create some extra space here and let's say then sci.get will take the data test ID email attribute for here, which is the one we use to enter. We can use invo, which will invoke a function for us. So this is going to give us basically the value we want from the text box. So we can say val. We'll then say then, because we want to work with the details returned from this object. So we can say then, uh, let's just call this text. You can name this what you want. This is your parameter, but we'll call it the text. I've also forgot the single quotes here, so make sure you do that. And then we can create our kind of callback in here so we can work with that value. So I can say now, log text, which is actually going to be the value because we called invoke to get the value as text and save here. So what I'm expecting is when I actually run this now, or it has already run, when we go into the Cypress viewer, we'll see that there's a sci.log which outputs this email address that we put in. So let's go to the Cypress log. Here we go. You've got commit quality, fake email address. So that's getting the value of this email text box. So you can start doing things with this. You can start grabbing the values from different text boxes. You can get the text from buttons, whatever you want to do, and output them into logs. You can assert against them. But I just want to show this because it's a little bit different on how you might handle login in other test tools. But Cypress, once again, make it very easy for you to log out whatever information you need. As always, if you do have any questions or comments, please drop them down below. A like and subscribe is appreciated. Thank you for watching.